their exchange in winter semis was so damn good. I can only imagine what even more of a pressure situation like losers finals will gift us with. Here we go, Stadium being the first stage. Let's get it on. All right, man. So yeah, he wasted no time pulling that Kazi back out. I thought maybe, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe we see a little bit of that uh of that Pac-Man, but no, we're gonna start with the Kazi, see what he can do with it. Yeah, and I, I mean, really, is this is this tournament turned into MK Leo versus Fire Pass Two? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got to fight his way through, man. They all came through. It was like the you know, like the freshmen and the sophomores, bro. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, no edge guard here. The ledge drop, double jump up there. Such a powerful, disjointed move coming out from Kazuyo. The up, the out of shield. T going tick for tack, oh. and I'm glowing blue. I'm coming through. All right, you already know what it is. Going off? Yeah, you are. You get hit that close from Leo. Yeah. That fair is definitely coming, and that sock is getting sealed up. Yeah, and I wonder if you actually oh, want that catch the, Really? Was so clean, bro. So much damage off that tipper back air, and Leo's not even done yet. Yeah, man, Leo continues. This onslaught right now. Okay, but you know what? A good pair of Damn, levels. what? You made it back? How the hell? Are you for... Bro, this character, character cheats. <laughs> you, how do you have the longest tether in the game? Arms is right there. That was their whole thing. <laughs> nah, that was their whole thing. <laughs> TK, there's a reason we're not getting a sequel, man. <laughs> it ain't coming back. Arms, um, baby. And I'm not sure my man T is either. The way Leo is just unloading right now. The pressure has been enormous. Rage Art, though. Maybe enough of a threat yet yeah, to at least well this momentum, but holy crap. Is he on a tear right now? Oh dang, okay. trying to do the 10 hit Not combo. The 10 hit. Up. <laughs> Not the 10 hit. He's gonna be out of uh yeah, yeah out of well, out of that stock. I was gonna say out of rage, but now he's out of that stock too. First game not going too well for his Kazia, man. He hasn't been really uh really able to get a lot of the cool Kazia stuff that you know normally see off of electrics. Leo playing quite well around that, and that's the thing, you know, what's what Bilev can do. You have good range yep. to try to make uh, make things like that happen. Forward air, back air, hit so far away from you. And yeah, of no course. No double jump. You're, yep. you're dead. You're done. You are done. Stepped wow. on. Stepped on. Woo, and Sheesh. that was a rough one for T. No electrics means no damage, no stocks coming through here for T. Leo doing an excellent job of playing out the neutral, not interacting with the scary electric man in yellow, and just amazing edge guards I mean, that's what through, you right? have to do if you're Leo, right? You just kind of got to put him away at those openings that present themselves where just electric is not really a threat. And Leo was perfect on a lot of that delivery. Yeah. Can definitely tell. I mean, you know, kind of get the vibe, too. Definitely remembered exactly what took place in their winter semis encounter as well, so... And that matchup knowledge to use as we see T just gonna elect to just maybe take some refuge over there on that left platform on the stage as well. What the hell? Question what, marks. what is going on? T? Oh, oh, jokes! Oh. Imagine if you just down it right there. Like, <laughs> or, or for a footstool, like just something. Yeah, it's like get out of here, bro. You're gone. So right now T is actually waiting for it, the stage to turn into Final Destination. I like that. That's very smart. Because you definitely ban Final Destination versus Kazuya, of but <laughs> guess what? There's Final Destinations two and three, man. Uh oh. Well, it's here. There you go. Alternate routes to get what you want. And obviously, T finding his. But Leo, the oh, commitment that with jump? that yep. air is enough. Good God, this man is unloading. Bro. You know, T, I mean, you might, you might just have to scrap him, bro. I'm sorry. You're whole, you're whole stock down. You did no damage. You waited for the uh, the platforms to leave. Now they're already back. Oh, no. Not like oh, this, man. Oh, no, no way. Like are, this, we, are we going to get another? Not like this, T. Not another three stock here for MK Leo, right? Oh, doesn't get the grab though. I saw it. Like, okay, that okay. Was, that, okay. Zap. Finally get some damage. Ooh. Oh, oh this is, mm. he still don't got those. He uh, used uh, to have those. He doesn't have them anymore. What I, happened? Yeah, I don't know what's taking place, man. Definitely a departure from some of the good execution we saw earlier on. But Leo obviously not going to have a complaint about that. Might be enough. Ooh, still the chase down. Not quite there. Bro, this is nuts. And at this percent, the neutral air is going to have enough tumble that Leo can actually tech, so it becomes a tech chase situation here, and Leo is not having any of this right now. Okay, the scoops, this should be the stock no matter what center stage here, but man, is T bleeding right now. Yes, he is, man. 124, you know, a clean back air will definitely find it. Can't get, oh, wow. Okay. So he got some, 45. 45. I'll, I'll take it, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like he's not going to be able to get that one because he popped him too high, but still finding like a, an alternate combo. That neutral air does push him a little further out, and late. Uh -oh. Nair. And Leo again, Nair. again. Nice. Can we talk about how these Nairs have been the MVP move <laughs> yeah. thus far for MK Leo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't see that as effective in their first encounter in semis, but here in Losers Finals, it has been all Nair all the time. Oh, try to get the forward smash, and I, I'm going to keep it a buck, man. T, we're going to have to see the pack, man. I know, I know it's rough, but 
Uh, this this Kazi is just not working it's, like it was not, in winners. It's not hitting, bro. Yeah. I mean, you. Oh, okay. Should be able to make that one back. Oh, no, or man. not. Didn't, I, I could have swore he was going to be able to jump by then. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, that this, was long. Honestly, this could be T also just running out of steam, right? I mean, going through all these losers bracket matches. Someone going to game five. You know, switching between Pac Man and Kazi. We. I, it is impressive that he's able to do it, but it is still very hard to do that. Switching in between these two very drastically different characters. And, I mean, there might just not be any tank ga uh, left in the gas here. Gas left in the tank, but I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I got you. True. Chuck Nass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we got? The Pac-Man is indeed out. Okay, so he was like, I'm not going to, you know, can't mess around anymore. Oh, he lost his jump. So, yeah, no, he's, he was dead anyway. Yeah. Right. He jumped off ledge with the uh, up here. Didn't even realize. All right. Yeah, he was, he was gone. All right, so let's see what he can do here against this man, MKLeo, with his Pac-Man now. And Kaleo's Byleth fully handling that uh, Kazuya. I mean, this this switch, I mean, was absolutely, you know, necessary. Like, the, you know, the, the flubs yeah. that he was having, you can't have those against MKLeo, let alone in, in Loser's Finals. So definitely saw the Pac-Man against the Buzz, certainly impressive, uh, was actually what helped him make that reverse 3-0 against Cola. So the Pac has definitely been on fire throughout this Loser's Bracket. Gonna hope it's gonna ignite him to maybe get this first game off of MK Leo. He's gonna need something, man, because this was, I mean, yeah, those, Whoa, those last two games weren't it. Those up here are hitting. Okay. Back onto the stage. Hey, I mean, back and forth in terms of percentage here. Doing a lot better than Nikazia, but the floatiness, okay, not going to get that confirmed here. Maybe a little bit too much rage on the Leo. Yeah. Side B to the ledge here. Leo in the corner. Just going to stall out with this Hydrant. Okay. See my man moving around. Gotta probably try to get the hydrant, uh, you know, the hydrant mix right there. Uh, letting the water blow the bell over, but already used two shots. And only does two shots of water right there. So, oh, Ooh, wait a minute. Right. Cherry, hold wow, that, that to F2 extended. Wait, oh man, even the hydrant almost catching Leo down there. Down tilt, definitely not going to combo in to the up tilt. The forward tilt, still not enough. So he's going to make his way back using the nair, <laughs> covering himself in this hitbox to make sure he don't get sniped. Yeah, but ate, the forward tilt still connects He anyway. ate that up, but it did not matter. As you said, Charles, the forward tilt was there and waiting. Excellent delivery. First stock going to go to Leo. Really trying to secure this 3-0. Wow. Leo actually doing the, uh, I believe that was either full hop or IDJ Nair, and you can actually do very similar Nair combos like Paul Tana. Good lord, so, man. Okay, okay, Leo, I see you. You you in the lab getting these confirmed that's down. Right, bro. That's Nair, that's Nair Jordan right there, but put his ass on the bench real quick. T, throwing him down momentarily, but right again on the offense goes Leo, and look at that 79% already. That Hydrant did no favors for T. Oh, he yeah, actually got yeah. hard combo because of that Hydrant <laughs> being there, so. Yeah, you know, fourth throw into the dash tag. That is not a real combo, but it does. It is when there's a wall there for you. So, okay. There's an air. Yep. Oh man, almost giving Leo these hydrants. You're kind of just giving Leo a resource at this point. What yep. it feels like, right? Facts. Oh, okay. He's getting, getting some nice uh, couple hits here. Got started. Start all that with an up tilt. The whiff punish. The dash tag goes Ooh, up and over done. the apple. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Just completely piercing and taking out that stock. Final one. For T, last gasp of a chance of keeping this loser's run alive. But Leo, man, you can tell he's okay. determined. Uh, you saw it? Yeah. yeah. Leo tried to the side B. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's like relaxing ship into side B. This is looking terribly for uh, terrible for T right now. You know, he is down by a lot. About to get lapped in percentage. Actually does get, almost get lapped in percentage. Only put four between him right now. Let's make it back to the ledge. Oh, man. Yeah, we're bringing out the forward smashes. That's that's when you know Leo's confident. The drag down there to grab. Okay. He's trying to finish this game off for sure. Yeah, I mean, you got to dig really deep if you're T here. You already got almost triple digits on your last stock. The tech chase situation gets the grab here. Going to charge up the bell, set it up. Maybe get on the ledge trap. Oh, no, the my God. Uh, what? Yes. He, he does not care, bro. That is it's, the bell was in the way. He said, "I'm still going to go for it." Up B, up air. Perfect, perfect execution there from MKLeo. He turns disadvantage into an advantage at any given moment. This guy always just seems like no matter the situation, he's always within striking distance and absolutely decimated that Pac-Man. It didn't matter what character T was going to throw out there. Leo had no intentions of letting him even think he had a chance in yeah, that he, loser's finals. He definitely sped, uh, speed ran that loser's finals, man. You know, forced that man off of Kassia back, back to the Pac-Man. Pac-Man didn't really fare that well either. But 
Yeah, no, I mean, what a way to dismantle that character that, you know, everyone's always kind of worried about. But at the same time, T's execution has not been on as far as uh, this top eight and his Kazuya has gone. We've seen a lot of wind god fist, no electric. Yeah, I know? mean, that's the thing about Kazuya. I mean, it, it is a frustrating character to go up against, but it does require that execution check, right? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, in this tournament format where you're competing day one, day two, day three, three days in a row, the execution's got to be on point all three days. And, I mean, like I, I we know that T can push Leo game five, last talk, last hit. We saw it in winners. Yeah. But, I mean, kind of towards the end, just running out of steam there, right? And, like, the execution kind of faltering towards the end there as well. And it, you can it argue... Rough, but ama amazing run from T nonetheless, yeah. right? You can argue the fact, too. I mean, this was top 12 today, too, right? Top it wasn't 12. just a normal yeah. top eight. Yeah. So you had a couple extra sets that you did have to play. But, I mean, nonetheless, T with nothing to be ashamed of. A solid third place finish at an event like this. Definitely oh, yeah. accumulated a lot of points. Again, this is a platinum event for the Smash World yep. Tour. So, I mean, that's a good look, man. But this is... Uh, we got the setup, man. The rematch from Winner's Finals, MK Leo and Proto. It's going to be absolutely insane as you see how this bracket has unfolded all throughout this Championship Sunday day. Wow.